Hello, people, and welcome back to another video. Today, we will be... Oh, get the plane out of the face. Alright, today we will be reviewing the Dr. Ian Malcolm and Velociraptor. Now, it's still Christmas. Uh, we're doing all these... We're going to try to get these all videos done today. Now, let's go ahead and... Un Wait, all we got to do is just do this. Yeah. One, two, and the Velociraptor is out. Now, this does have locusts. Uh, get them up. But I will uh, review him in a second. Let's just get all of them out of the box first. Oh, I can't, and it came with bugs. Three of them. Yep, the locusts and the movie. Remember Jurassic World Dominion? Alright, Ian Malcolm came with a, a taser thing. Look at that. That is very cool looking. It looks like he's got an electrocutor, but I don't remember there being any raptors or this electrocutor. I remember he had a spear, though, that he could he threw into Gennadosaurus' mouth with the fire. Alright, now, why don't you go ahead and show us the raptor first. And the, the raptor has very good detail, and it has the, it uh, has the DNA scan the DNA. Kit. Which all of them do, not real, uh, not the Hammond collection. So, I'll go ahead and take him. The mouth is not too detailed, but you wouldn't expect that much. Here's the raptor claws. They are a lot bigger than the Hammond collection. Uh, the Lophosaurus claws, so. though. And the nails are painted on the toes, just not these nails. That's really disappointing to me. He's got very nice print on the back. If you can Did you review this guy? Yeah, I've already reviewed him. Uh, then we got the tail. It has a 360 ro rotating degree angle. Now, uh, his head has a ball joint at the end. And the mouth, you can see it has a line right there at the edge. So that might not be so well looking, but hey, it looks good. And I'll give this raptor a rating of him. Eh, it's not that bad, but it's good. And now, they're Ian Malcolm. Now, one thing I'm noticing is if these glasses do come off and if they're accessories. <gasps> they do! Look at that, y'all. Ian Malcolm with his glasses off. It's so weird looking. Now, we're going to go ahead and put those back on because I do not like the way he looks. And plus, I don't want to lose these glasses. I mean, he looks kind of good, but... Hey, that'd be good for stop motion if he gets glasses knocked off. There we go. He's got a nice leather coat. I believe it does come off. Yep, it does. Uh, we're not gonna. All right, fine. I get it. No, it don't. It will come off, but I'm not gonna try to yank it off right now. It has some articulation. Actually, it has a lot in the arms. It, uh, he's quite detailed. <coughs> He's got that old hair guy. And uh, his shoes don't come off. Of course they don't. But overall, he's a good figure. And now, the one we've all been waiting for. Locust. Oh, no, nah, none of us have been waiting for this, honestly. Like, maybe the toy, but, I mean, it's got, you know, good. Now, it's definitely see-through. That's the one thing uh, that you can notice. But, to me, they're quite big for an action fit, uh, toy. I like the size of his entire shoe, which I don't remember them being that big. I remember them being at least a little bit maybe bigger. But, there you have it, Locust. I'll give them a nice, uh... Maybe 5 out of 10, which is good, good, but not too good, good. Now, they can do uh, backflips. Boom. Backflips. Yeah, and now the electrocutor. It's see-through, and it doesn't have much to say. All right, there's your Ian Malcolm. Now, my brother did want to review one of his Godzillas, which was, which one? Shin. Now, okay. Shin came with a lot of details. Now let's see. Oh, uh, you wanna? Oh, uh, you need to pause it. Let me get that for you. Boom. All right. Now, what do you need to cut? Oh, you need to cut a black uh, strip. All right. Go ahead and uh, let me get that for you. You want to cut it on these sides. 
closer to the dorsal plates because they'll likely not break. Boom. Now, you, the easiest thing to get out would be the tail, yeah. He likely has something under his feet that you'd have to get out. Yeah, he does. I think we can get that. Yeah, that's, uh, it, watch out. Yeah, let's move him up. Oh, God. That's very close. Oh, there he goes. We'll move your box right over here. Now, Shane's most detail is about his dwarfer fins and the whole body. Now, it gets a big old red thing, and most likely Shin is able to breathe um, fire out of his mouth, fire out of his dwarfer fins, and fire out of his tail. That's cool. Go ahead and connect his tail. <coughs> I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, Velociraptor up. Well, you can get set right there with the other raptors. And we'll put the locust right over here. 